The U.S. economy is growing almost twice as fast today as when I took office. And we are considered far and away the hottest economy anywhere in the world, not even close. <laughs> Unemployment has reached the lowest rate in over half a century. Yes. Remember when Trump said all this stuff, right? This is part of this is the this is in the bowels of Congress at the uh, Marcus Conti reporting on the unemployment catastrophe in this country. I want to talk about it. Well, let's listen to Trump first. African American, Hispanic American, and Asian American unemployment have all reached their lowest levels ever recorded. It's so ridiculous, right? Uh, he, he goes on and on. Trump goes on and on about unemployment in this country being eviscerated, right? So what are the real numbers, right? So if you've ever come to this channel, I've been saying all along that the numbers are, are rigged, that the idea that there's only 3.2% unemployment in this country is ridiculous speculation. It's ridiculous, not only ridiculous speculation, but a straight-out lie. And I'll give, I'm going to give you the statistics of exactly what, those, what the numbers actually are. Right? So, so let's look, uh, let's start here. So here's an a interesting article. It talks about when a working age American does not have a job. This is how, the, how the, the calculation. I've always speculated that unemployment in this country is probably at the same level of depressionary levels in the 1930s, 1930, 31, 32. Uh, in fact, uh, unemployment was was a staggering. Here's the chart. I got the chart. A staggering 25 percent. Right? Here you see it. 25 percent in it peaked in 1933. Right. The crash before the crash in 29, unemployment was very very low. Real actual. People actually had jobs, right? <laughs> Doing stuff, right? Not this bullshit number. I'm going to tell you why the number is bullshit, because it is a bullshit number, right? We're probably still at around 20 to 25% in unemployment. You don't believe me? I'll show you why. When a working age American does not have a job, the federal number crunchers put them into one of two different categories. Either they are categor categorized as, quote, unemployed, or... They are categorized as, quote, not in the workforce, unquote. It's the same thing, right? It's to say you don't have a job. You're unemployed, right? If you don't have a job and you're employable, meaning that you're over 18, you're not in, a, you're not in, a, in jail, you're not in an uh, old age home, right? You're, 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 an, you're a legal bodied person, right? right? Then you are, and you're not, and you don't have a job, you're because of the categorization, not in the labor force. What the hell does that mean? It means that you're not employed, right? So, so this unemployed number is is a fudged statistic. Right? But you have to add, you have to add both of those categories together to get the total number of Americans that are not working, right? Right? Common sense. Right? Over the last decade, the number of Americans that are in the, quote, unemployed category has been steadily going down. But the number of Americans, quote, in the labor force, not in the labor force, has been rapidly going up. <laughs> in both cases, we are talking about Americans that don't have jobs. It is just a matter of how the federal government chooses to categorize those individuals. Right. So... Uh, so, how many people, nearly 102 million Americans do not have a job right now because they're in that second category of uh, not in the labor force? <laughs> so, uh, you do the math. This is simple math, right? It's not hard. I'm not going to go deep into the numbers because the, when you go deep into the numbers, the numbers are there to confuse you. Hispanic level ticked up 0.1%. There's no evidence of any of that bullshit. All they look at is how many people apply for unemployment 
And then when it runs out, they don't they stop looking for work because there is no work. Uh, so they fall out of the rolls. Uh, so, but here's the real statistic: nearly uh, uh, one hundred and two million Americans do not have a job right now. Right? Income and wealth inequality. Right? I, I've been saying it all along. This is the fundamental problem in this country that we have. We we play politics. We politics is sport. Politics has nothing to do with fixing the the economy for the people and 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 health care and and you know opportunity job opportunity all of the wealth 99% of all new wealth is is bleeding out the top it's actually 82% 82% of all new wealth goes to the top 1% right. tremendous income and wealth inequality as a result of money in politics as a result of oligarchy and monopolies taking over, squeezing everybody out of the picture so you can't compete and you're forced into slave labor, into a middle class. Is there a middle class? We're going to look at that too. There is no more middle class. Everybody, 90% of the country, probably more right now, are poor. On, on many, when you look at many parameters, most people are living poor. And I'll, I'll show you evidence of that too. So, 102 million Americans do not have jobs right now. And at no point during the last recession did that number ever surpass 100, 100 million. So 100 million people, right? So when you do the math on that, right, statistically, 100, 100 million out of 330 million people in the country is roughly 30%, right, don't have jobs. But then you have to, again, you have to account that some of those are children, some of those are elderly, some disabled, incarcerated, out of the country. What, you know, well, out of the country, they should be counted. But the fact is, so you bring that number down a little bit, right? You, you eliminate everybody under 18 that's not required to work or whatever. Right? So it, the, the number falls probably around 22, 23. 24% unemployment in America. Uh, so when you hear that number, 2.1%, and you look at yourself and say, well, why the, how come I don't have a job? If, if one in four, one in five people don't have a job, you know, and I'm one of them, you know, it, it, it's like, but I thought, I, but I must be in the one, per, you know, I must be 95% of people have jobs and I don't. 97% of people, according to the, the official fake numbers have jobs and I don't. Right? That's the way it's it's presented to the people, right? Austerity. You're stupid. You can't get it. Go get a job. You don't want to work. You don't want to work. That's why you don't have a job. Right. So, um, so here's the parameters of middle class. This is very interesting. We'll look at, the, and those numbers, before we do that, those numbers, what's this? Oh, that's Trump. Those numbers that I quoted before, uh, uh, America's unemployment rate, right from the White House, right? The whitehouse.gov is on their page. America's unemployment rate falls to its lowest level in almost 50 years. Based on what? Based on fake numbers? Based on, I just gave you the real numbers. The Bureau of Statistics released its monthly unemployment. It's all so professional. It's all such bullshit. And they place, they place it, I'm, I don't even know. I think it's, it's 3.2%. 3.7%, 4.5%, 3.7%. It's all bullshit. It's this total total fabrication of numbers, right? But so what is the middle class, right? Middle class, right? Everybody's all expanding the middle class. The fact is that there is no more middle class based on the these parameters that I, I think are fair. Some of them are fair. Let's look at some of them. There's 12 of them. Look at a couple of them. Meaningful health care insurance, right? That's number one, right? Do most people have meaningful health insurance? No. You either work for it and, and it's insufficient. It's insufficient coverage. It's underinsured, meaning that the, co the co-pays are too high or, uh, you know, or there's a deductible that, you, ha you know, you have to pay $7,000 out of pocket before it kicks in, right? So meaningful health insurance for the majority of people, no, we don't have it. Right, forty million people are un, un, uh, uninsured, or they they get Medicaid, which or Medicare, Medicaid, 
which doesn't really count in the spectrum of middle class because that's a subsidy. That's that's still technically a handout. That's why universal single payer health care should be made free. Should be made uh, eliminating the. I know people say free, all free, free stuff. It goes socialist, Conti, socialist. No, it's free because you've already paid in tax money, right? To 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 give that as a human right, health care would be a, a way to give meaningful insurance to all. Right? Eliminate the middleman. Get rid of the uh, the, the blood suckers. Right? The the, the uh, insurance companies. Number two, significant equity in home or other real estate. Right? Significant equity of twenty five to fifty percent of their of their home. Most people don't have homes. I don't have a home. I live in a fucking box. Right? I live in my mother's basement. I don't have a home. So so far, I'm poor. Right. I don't have any health health insurance, right? If I need, if I fall down, I'll get Medicaid in the hospital, right? Because I'm a poor person, right? Significant equity? Nope. I'm poor. I'm still poor. Income ex- expenses that enable the household to save at least 6% of income. Pff, I don't fucking save anything. I save. What, are you kidding me? I don't have shit, man. I'm a YouTube jerk off, right? I could be. I mean, if YouTube was fair, if, if it was... a in a fair world, I'm a you know a, a a a huge YouTube personality living poor, right? To squeeze you out, they want to squeeze you the fuck out, take away your, demonetize you, insult you, cut you off. Uh, that's austerity, right? Go work for you know I I don't know what the what the point of it is, but well, that's that's a different point to control. Significant retirement funds. Nope, I don't have any. Do you have one? I don't have one. IRA? <laughs> Fucking hell no. I cashed one in from a city to four years ago. The ability to service all debt and expenses over the minimum term. I don't have fucking debt. I have some credit cards, but I don't use them because I don't have any money. Right? Reliable vehicle. I don't I take the bus. I take I walk. If a household requires government assistance to maintain the family lifestyle, their middle class status is in doubt. I don't have anything. I have if I, again, if I get sick, I'll, I'll go to the hospital and I'll apply for Medicaid as a poor person, and I'll I'll probably get it. Right. So middle, I'm not. I'm seven out of seven failed. A percentage of non paper, non real estate, hard assets. I don't have any assets. No metals. No fucking. I got a guitar. I, what am I gonna do? Sell my guitar? Anything on the. Any accumulated assets in this? All right, I have some tech, technology, right? I got a nice microphone. I got some headset, right? I got some stuff. I got an iPad and an iPhone, right? I got material gadgets, right? But but based on those are, I mean, to to not have a a smartphone today is to to be living in a cave. You have to. These are are requirements. I had a computer is a requirement. Unless you're, you know, you're. I'm blind, so I need to have something. I'm looking at a giant screen right now. I get my screen is fucking big, right? Because I can't see. <laughs> I'm technically disabled in that way. Number 10, leisure time to devote to maintenance of physical, spiritual, and mental fitness. All right. I have some time because I work hard. I work fast. I work smart, right? So I do have some, and I'm, I'm very, very adamant about physical, spiritual, and mental fitness, so I go out of my way to do that. But I'll tell you, I, I worked in a, in a city municipality recently, and you could see the, the blobs that work there. I mean, just fat, round, disgusting people. Their bodies, <gasps> you're in the cubicle next to me here. Right? You hear the, the sound of the, the cap from the pills coming off, drinking their water, drinking their pills. I don't take any medications, uh, you know what I'm saying? So maybe in that respect, I've, uh, I'm, uh, I get a pass. Right? I'm middle class in terms of health. <laughs> 11, continuing, uh, to continue the accumulation of human and social capital. New skills, networking. Well, okay, you know, so that's, that's very vague. 12, family ownership of income-producing assets such as savings bonds. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't have any of that shit, man. Fucking. So that's, that's what I'm trying to say, man. The unemployment number is a total scam, total ripoff, total bullshit. Right, we're all living poor. 90% of the country is, in, is, is beyond now abject poverty, is scraping by. Right? That's, that's the reality. The numbers are fake, you know? So when you go back and you listen to Trump, cheering on, tagging his numbers, 
It's just total freaking bullshit, man. There he is, right? Oh, what a great economy. Everybody in this room right here makes 70, 180 grand Unemployment for Americans with disabilities has also reached an all-time low. Based on no facts. Only why. I just gave you the facts. So they're all working really hard. More people are working now than at any time in the history of our country, 157 million people at work. All right, so that's half the country. 157 million people working. What about the other 200 million people that are not working? <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just total bullshit. Right? So you can believe what you want to believe. You can believe in your you know, heroic Trump. But, I, I mean, again, I'm looking for the honest politician. Right? I want to hear... I want to hear the actual facts, the facts of income and wealth inequality in this country where, you know, all the, all the new wealth is bleeding out the top. Opportunity for the American people, right? you know, health care and such. So, so Marcus Conti reporting, uh, kindly become a Patreon of this channel, right? As I just told you, I'm kind of poor. <laughs> become a Patreon and um, uh, if you want to make a one-time contribution, go through PayPal. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel again. YouTube is knocking people off the rolls. Marcus Conti reporting.